Welcome gamers to Fire and Maneuver. Fire and Maneuver is a game brought out by the Armchair Historian. And I don't know if you've ever watched his channel, but I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I've been subscribed to his channel for many, many years. I love what he does. He goes in depth into um, historical s situations that sort of happened uh, you know, back through the uh, th through you know various other centuries, and uh, and animates them really quite nicely, and explains a lot about what does go on. One of the best um, historical uh, channels that you can sort of find on YouTube, in, in my opinion. And um, anyway, they've brought out uh, this particular game, which is called Fire and Maneuver, uh, which has got a like. A, there's a lot to like about where this game's going to be heading. To be honest, I'm, I'm really really excited about where it will end up. But I do have to point out, right at this very point in time, the game has just launched. It, in my opinion, it's launched too early. It's not launch ready. Um, so I hope that doesn't sort of hurt the game in this in this early phase. Uh, there's a, and I'll go through the aspects of, of what I'm uncomfortable with with the game, just so that you guys can make a choice whether you bounce in now. I know most of you will be wanting to play it because you'll sort of you'll love the uh, the era. This era is hardly ever touched in games, to be honest, and it's not done very well. In this game, you can just sort of see that this has got the the building blocks for something really quite special coming in the future. The game is fairly simple to play in in terms of its mechanics to a degree, so it's not a difficult game um, and. And, and really, but it's also one of those games that you can sort of, you know, you, you, you'd really need to be um, uh, on top of what you're doing in, in the sense that you, it's still got, it's one of those games essentially that you've, it takes a little bit of mastery to, to, do, to really do well in the game. Having said that, one of the big negatives at this stage is that the AI has not really been worked on yet. So the AI is extremely easy to beat. <laughs> like it's very, very weak. Uh, and so just be aware of that. But that will be worked on. That will be changed. I know that that's actually on the on the to-do list. Uh, there's a lot of things on the to-do list, actually, or with the game. And um, But as I say, there's a lot of issues with the game as well. For me, probably the one of the biggest issues is the user experience with the game. It's, it's a, they, So the UX is really really at this stage uh, poor I would say uh, but again it's a lot of that is fairly easy to fix and so I would expect that over the coming weeks and months this game will then become it will blossom into something really quite special I always worry when games actually do launch even to early access like this where they launch so early that there's still a lot of placeholder bits and pieces I, I don't personally don't I don't like that I think games should actually be held back until they uh, are at least uh, you know even even early access Access launch ready, <laughs> and I don't think this game actually is yet. Um, it would have been really cool if they had just held back a little bit. Now it's different if they're doing like an open beta where they sort of, and that's more what the game is like. So if you're willing to be part of of something that will grow into something quite nice, then um, then yeah, jump into it. But this is an early beta. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's basically an open beta, not an early beta. It's early access, but really it's an op open beta. And um, I'm thinking that they will be inviting people to actually sort of give feedback. And I'll just give my honest opinion with the game as well. Like, you know, there's certainly some aspects about the game that I that I really, you know, think needs to be really tightened up before it's uh, before it really is really quite playable. Um, so let's just go through it. So I won't go too much about the UX and the UI type um, uh, aspects of the game because um, you'll sort of see that for yourselves as we get into it. The game presents a few different aspects. Um, like if we go, like I won't go through all the issues. Like for example, like there's still a lot of things that need to be fleshed out through here. This this uh, video should play in game. It does originally, and then it doesn't after the first time that you play it. There's there was a really cool little, uh, very simple battle that you would play at the very start when you first got into it, but. It's then not no longer uh, accessible to you, <laughs> so you can't go back and play that little scenario, which is quite nice because it does illustrate what you can actually get, then go and do. And I'm guessing that there'll be more and more things fleshed out in through here. So this is still to be fleshed out. Uh, the quick match aspect, you've got like a ranked match, which will be coming soon. I'm not sure when that will be, but this will be, I guess, more geared around the multiplayer aspect. Um, quick match is also a multiplayer aspect. The training is a waste of space at this stage, so don't bother playing that, even if even though you'll probably come in and sort of think, oh, well, that's where I've got to start to figure out how to play against the AI. There's better ways to do that. So I'll show you that in this particular episode. 
If we then go to, across to custom, uh, what we have is we have careers, which is not available just yet. I'm looking forward to seeing what that one actually is. We have a campaign. I'm working sort of backwards through here because we're going to end up on the battle. Uh, the campaigns are really, really interesting, I've got to say. Look, these look very, very good, like the, or they will be very, very good. At this early stage, though, again, the UX and the, U, and the UI aspects of it sort of get in the way of, of this to a degree, and it's a bit hard to sort of tell what's going on. Also, because the AI is so weak at this early stage of the game and I know that that will be worked on a lot um, and, and it will be it will be much more formidable at this point in time I've, I was playing a campaign and, and barely lost any soldiers and or, you know didn't quite get it finished but you know in fact I can show you sort of where I am with this one here so I was playing that earlier as a live stream and I got to the point where um, if we have a look at the, if I just click on that one and just go continue um, Hang on, that's, is that going to open it up for me? Yeah, I've got the difficulty. I, yeah, it's can still, I don't think this actually works yet, these options. I'll just go start to see if this, uh, if this does actually work. Continue. Nope, that's the start of the campaign. <laughs> Let's just go back and load it in again. <laughs> Close. Uh, quit game. I've had issues, I've got to say, with, the, with this as well. Campaigns load double click continue that's what i mean like this this oh, here we go this, this is uh this is us now it, it was much much better I'll, I'll just sort of show you what's actually gone on through here so um there's certainly aspects about the game that as i say the, with the ui user experience it looks some of it looks very very good but the other bits don't look good look for example the hq zones you don't actually have the name of the of what towns they are, yet there's actually instructions as to what to do at the start of the uh, start of the turn. Now we actually control the vast majority of this one. If I just go back across now to supply map mode, you'll sort of see that I control most of this territory, sort of running down through here. There's like a some Russian forces that have been sort of left back in through that side. Um, now, as far as that was one of their HQs, which I've now I've now sort of captured that particular HQ. And so these should end up out of supply fairly soon. They've got other forces that are now streaming back up towards this HQ. So they've got more and more forces into the, into their, in, for the Russian forces there. But this is very, very late in the game. Almost, you know, got it sort of, got it uh, won. And it's, it really, as I say, I've hardly sort of lost any troops. But this is a really quite an interesting way of playing the game. You've got these different um, armies that sort of move around. Like I've got the French... Um, first or if, if, I'm not sure what the one ear corps is <laughs> uh, back and through here and you can see we've got no cavalry 11 uh, foot soldiers and four infantry sorry four artillery and the way that this works is that if I go and open this one up we can then see exactly what is actually placed into here I'll just show you very briefly and then we'll go in and actually play an actual game so for example these guys in through here you can sort of see that they're just like we've got um, Chasseur Apid I'm probably going to really butcher these names it's got a, an actual price we've got certain money that we can sort of add in um, it's also got maximum manpower is 900 which you can see we've actually got everything maxed out quite nicely we also have line infantry we've got 1200 in there through there that's fairly cheap to get those and if we wanted to sort of upgrade these units we can just go across to what's called the armory and just have a look and so we can see through here that there's a couple now I don't look often the Victoria carbine is something we can add to uh, cavalry units but not so much to the to the actual line infantry but they can be supplied with the Enfield rifle it's going to cost me an extra thirty dollars per per character if I go and click on that one I can then go and say okay well I want to I want a rifle this one is going to give me a, one extra range with my shooting so I can actually then just go and click and you'll notice the money comes down as I do this so I'm just going to go and pick all of these guys they can actually all have the um, the, the end field so they can be supplied these guys won't get it like even if I click on it it's it's cannot equip with that weapon and so that basically then sort of rounds out this particular group with all now with rifles much much more powerful than what they were before and so we've used a bit of our money to do that and so it's very easy to upgrade your troops uh, which is great like this is a really really cool sort of system that sort of does work it's just not quite polished that's in that, but you can see the promise of what will be coming is really quite exceptional so anyway that's the armory um back in through there and we can do that with any of our forces so that that french force there you can see it's got three movement points which i think i can move back onto the road and that's about it really at this stage 
I'm wanting to sort of catch these guys uh, if we can. This one here, we've got like a couple. If we open this one up, we can sort of then sort of see that these guys already have the rifles. Uh, so I can just go to armory. These ones can actually go and rebuild the walls as well. So if we go and do that, we can just go and sort of set the walls back up again. Uh, the armory, again, we've got the end field. I don't think, I, I don't think any of these can actually take those. But they could possibly take the carbine. Like these guys here may be able to get the carbine. And so we've got various light troops. Actually, no, they can't. Can any of those? No, none of those can. None of them will be able to take the end field either, I don't think. No. So actually, it's saying that carbine can. I don't know. It is allowing it. Yeah, cannot equip that to that unit. Anyway, that's sort of the way we are with the uh, with the various forces in through there. So this is a much smaller group. This is the Br the British Mixed Corps. And so it's quite nice. And one of the things that the armchair historian does, uh, like with his actual uh, animations, is he really takes a lot of note on what actually goes on with the uniforms. And this is this game is sort of no exception in this, in this sort of capacity as well, which is really quite nice to sort of see what's going on through there. Uh, there's logistics involved. You can see we've got different caches back in through this side. We're, we're controlling other aspects. This area through here, I think there was one troop in here that I did need to try to upgrade if we just go back across to the end fields again and there was one that was missing no they're actually they're all okay they've all been set up correctly by the looks okay and that's fine so they've all got the rifles um but it's just a it's just a got a really nice feel about it there's a lot of customization you can do when you actually do play these campaigns and you then are maneuvering around the actual map itself if i just go back out again if i just go and um i won't yeah we'll actually we'll send it there <laughs> save that one and then quit as I say I did have some problems with this but that seems to be working out okay and so that's the campaign and when we start we just start off in one little corner and have to sort of, then sort of work our way through so this is that's very very late in the campaign almost got it one it won't take me very long to actually finish that one off what if I don't play that out actually maybe I will play that one just so we can sort of finish off the campaign that way you can sort of see what does go on with that one Battles are also quite cool. Now, we, uh, uh, this is the best way to actually learn the game, is to actually start playing the, the battles. Now, if we go to Customize Battle, back through here, I don't know why you have to start with a room when you're going to play a single-player game. This, for me, seems like a waste of their resources, as well as your, you know, it's just more complexity, which you just don't need if you're going to be playing a single-player game. You can see through here we've got the Age of Glory coming back in through this side. You've got the Age of Rifles as well. We just have you know units a little bit further along in the in the text. We've got much more rifles uh, that you're actually up against. It's easy to play Age of Glory where you're sort of using more the smoothbore uh, muskets and things where you've actually end up with um, less range, and that does that does make the game a lot lot easier to play. Uh, if we just go across and create room. So you have to create a multiplayer game when you're going to play a single-player game. Uh, so you've got like you've got your unlocked various um, factions. Now I've unlocked three at this stage. Uh, the others that are in, like if I go, you can see it's locked. If I go and try to click on it, or if I click it down here, actually it won't it won't let me do it. Now this is a grindy. These cost five thousand points within the game to unlock. Uh, it does say purchase, which I don't like as well as a, as a term. You really are unlocking it. But you've got to win battles to actually get the points to then be able to unlock them, unless you then go and buy some DLC that which automatically unlocks them. And again, that aspect, I know that that really does turn gamers off when they when they play games like that. So I hope that the um, that the team behind the game actually look at that model because it's even though it's a free to play game initially, and then you're buying the DLC. So I don't mind that aspect. But, um, and I'm surprised that they actually did actually offer so much that was unlocked. I would have maybe even sort of just left it at, um, at Prussia and, and uh, France as the two unlocked versions in the early one and then have it have a DLC with the other five. That would have been actually pretty cool. Although, you know, like it's it sort of is anyway, to be honest, if you're wanting to have all of them unlocked that you can actually then go and play. So I've unlocked the first three. I can sort of play as one of these if we just go and confirm this one through here. The way this one works is that you then actually have your various forces that you can sort of then bring in. Here's your armory, just exactly what I was showing you there before, where you can sort of go and chop and change. That does change the price of the units. You have a, an army, like of who's, who's going to be playing, which is going to be you, of course, back over through here. So you can change the faction, as we just sort of saw back through that side. The period we set up as early, 
Now we've got different funds, and you can see down through here, these are the settings. So if I go across, I can sort of click to have to allow either a lot or, or very, very few. Uh, let's just go to say 1600. You've also got the battle size and how many units, maximum number of units you can actually bring into the game. So you, you want to be playing with a reasonable number. Actually, for your first game, eight is pretty reasonable. This is going to be, going to be the settings for it. The order count is, um, the orders are interesting, and I'll show you that actually in the game as well when we actually get into it. These you want to have at least however many units you're going to be having. So at least eight, and I think 12 is probably comfortable. That allows you to move and fire with, with like if you moved all eight of your units separately and then fired with, with four of them, that would be enough. You probably don't, you probably, actually eight would be enough as well, to be honest. That way you've got to then pick and choose which how you're going to use your orders. Now the orders are a, a fairly unique way of playing this game, which is, which is quite interesting. Uh, the game speed, just balanced, is going to be fine. Kills to win, you can sort of change this one around into you know, when the enemy is going to give up. And so it goes from 25 up to 90%. And the turn timer, again, if you're playing a single player game, I just have, you know, I think that should be defaulting to none. But, like, you know, two, two minutes is, f is fine for each actual turn. Back up through here, you can then sort of add in your different AIs or different players if you're playing against a, another player. And so you've got like next AI. So as you start to go through, I don't know why it's got that. I think it's just indicating it's an AI player, but that's actually also what's been used for settings, I think. So again, a bit of a confusing user interface uh, device <laughs> back in through there. And so just go next AI back in through this side. You've got Russia, uh, Ottomans. You can actually play against the ones that you haven't even un unlocked just yet. So if we're going to be playing against, say, Austria, uh, we could bring that one in through. And you can actually, I think you can add the others if you add in, no, you can't actually do that there. That's all right. It, you, it seems to be settings, again, things are clunky at this early stage, um, but they ultimately can be brought in. And then you just build your troops based on what you actually have. So if we go and um, and just grab some line infantry, for example, down through here, if, in fact, if we go to unit information, we can then sort of see what we're actually getting, you know, that's line infantry. We can then bring in other, uh, like just some light infantry in through there, maybe some of the um, some of the Highlanders. Uh, this is still got 915, maybe some cannons as well. Um, bring one of those in. This is ho like horse-drawn cannons. These are sort of more foot cannons. Um, and so as you bring things in, and then we've got different sorts of cavalry as well. So we can sort of bring that in. And that might be our force. There's eight, which I think was the, the limits that we actually had allowed anyway. Uh, everything is in through here has got the, uh, the Enfield rifle, which is great. If we, uh, I don't think if we can use the carbines you no, know, no, they won't won't take the carbines just yet. All right, so we'll go back to settings. So that's that's then our force coming back through. I'll just I just right click just to get rid of the infield back in through that side. So you can actually turn them off if you're trying to sort of tweak the numbers. You so see, you, you end up sort of getting close to your funds. Uh, then also back in through here, you've got the different sort of settings for the maps. Now there's not very many maps at this early stage. So Tata Junction in, in the Crimean countryside, full of pine trees. There's one that's really, really cool, actually, which I strongly suggest you have a bit of a look at. Um, is it this one here? A small Sicilian town of uh, Milazzo and its fortress are on the outskirts of this map as players battle for the countryside. Some of them have got little villages and things, and the villages you can actually embed, embed yourself into it. I haven't played all of these, but these are, it's quite interesting to sort of see it. it. Might be this one here, Heights. Yeah, this one here. This one is by far the most interesting map. Now, at the moment, I thought that there were random maps in the uh, campaign. They're not. Uh, there's, it, the game needs a lot more maps at this point in time. But these are. this is a really interesting um, uh, way of playing the game, actually playing with these uh, defensive locations. This is a really fascinating way to play the game. Um, yeah, it's, uh, so that's something. I'm almost tempted to play that just to sort of show how good. This is by far my favourite map. Like by an absolute mile, like it's uh, like it's suggested player size is ten through here. You can sort of change the season, so you have got different seasons in through there as well. I haven't noticed that it changing. Like when I do change, I haven't tested it much, but it doesn't seem to change much just yet. But it looks like it will be coming, and also the weather. And I'm not sure how that will then impact the uh, the actual game as well. Uh, start, start time, start time, and day and night cycles. I'm, I haven't seen this working either at this point in time. As I say, though, this is really quite a quite a very very nice map to play. 
Uh, we'll just close that off though. So that's the um, that's sort of the way that you then set up your settings and you're then ready to go and start playing. You would then just sort of go and click ready and then you would actually just go and start the actual battle itself. The AI would then choose their forces. You've got your cho your forces chosen and uh, you'd be into it. So, uh, but I won't play this one. I'll, um, I'll go back and I think, or should we? No, we won't. We'll go back and play the other the other campaign just so you can see it. Although this would be a bit more balanced. But as I say, the AI is really, really weak at this stage. It will get better. Let's just go back out. And back out again. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into Custom, Campaigns, uh, Crimea. Oh, load, sorry. And we'll load this one back in again. I just want to play one battle just so you can sort of see how it does work. Now I'll just go back to normal map mode, which is showing all of the, the HQs. I thought we'd actually sort of avoided that. Now that's the um, that's the Russian core. Not seeing very many rifles as such with them. So we're trying trying to sort of yeah, again. There's just little there's things that just don't quite add up with the game at different times, unfortunately. Um, I think I've actually had my turn, so let's just end my turn here. There we go, it's now all disappeared again. They've gone back into that location, they've actually now taken that cache. And they're battling us. Okay, this will be interesting to sort of see. Now, actually, one thing I didn't check was whether this group is going to be acceptable. Now, they're attacking. It's fairly even, which is good. So this should be a fun one for us to actually have a look at. So again, even though we're defending, it says attack. It basically means manual battle <laughs> instead of auto resolve or cancel. Uh, it, like it's essentially means we're just going to be playing it manually. So let's just go and do this. Now it, they're attacking a group of French that I've only just brought into the game. Now I can't remember if I've actually upgraded these or not. I've got some that are upgraded, but some of them aren't. So these guys here don't actually have the infield rifles, and this one here don't 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 have it either. We've got a three different cannon back and through here. One of the problems with the game at the moment is it also doesn't really show you what's available uh, to actually then sort of, uh, like it doesn't tell you exactly how these things actually do work. But I'll do my best to sort of explain how things actually happen with the game itself. So this is just a fairly open, um, now there's that one there, that, there is a, a village there, but I don't think it's gonna actually do anything. So this is their forces that have now come back through. They've got like a whole range of cavalry, different sorts of, um, of I think that's cavalry in through there as well. We can have a bit of a look. No, that's just other other troops. We've then got line infantry. We've got a uh, we've got some some um, artillery back in through that side. Line infantry, skirmishers, uh, horse-drawn artillery, skirmisher, line, uh, cavalry. Yep, and so a couple more in through there of uh, various um, uh, infantry there as well. So uh, we've got a whole range of different things ourselves. So I'm just going to go and um, if I start to deploy these, uh, we've got two different areas we can sort of then go and do it on. Now, what I want to do is I want to get to a position where I can then have some good attacks with my artillery and I want, I want them essentially on the road, I think, initially. Because the, if they're on the roads, they can actually move two. So um, I'm going to pop them into there uh, and I'll place this one here. I'm not sure which one's more powerful uh, with what we actually have through here. I've got a feeling that this, this will be more powerful than the others. Uh, so we've brought those two in. And I'll put both of these artilleries together. Now, now, the only, the the only the front one can actually fire, but we'll do that so we can just move them up along the road. So we'll get them travelling quickly along the road to start with. Uh, and then we'll try to get some some protection in around. Now there's a there's a um, a, a nice hill in through here, so we want to sort of grab that hill if we can. There's not much else on the other side, so we'll um, we'll look at getting the hill with some other some other units. So let's just go and uh, grab a um, a group of um, of these of these guys. I guess we'll sort of use them as well. And when they come in, I'm just going to change their facing into a march order. So they can actually move it a lot faster back in through there. Now these have also got the different abilities. So these have got melee drills, so minus one damage received in melee. So these actually do fight very, very well uh, manually. These guys here do not fight all that well, but I will actually move, I'll grab one of them at the back just to sort of keep things moving. 
And similarly over this side, we'll go to, we've got some skirmisher units. Let's just go and keep them sort of off into the side into this into this uh, into these fields, I think. So we'll just start to move these across. We've also then got the horse drawn uh, bits there, so we'll bring that across. These we can't change the, the, the they just are what they are, but they can move a fair, fair distance because of the horses. So they've all now been brought out. We'll go and get another skirmisher for fighting in there. So we'll just go and throw another one of those into here. Now with the skirmisher, I can actually sort of go and change it to, um, well, I just, I'll just keep it on, on that line, that, that, inform, that format, format there. That just allows them to move reasonably, reasonably fast. Um, similarly, what we'll do is we'll go back to some of these line uh, the, with the rifles and we'll place these in through this side. I'll get more skirmishers. They can sort of operate in more rough terrain, so let's just go and move them across. And again, we'll just go and change the formation. There's little things like, you know, it doesn't show you the actual formation that they're in when you bring them in, and there's something we should really be having a look at. I prefer to keep all of these in this, into this um, into this aspect. Does it work there? Oh, it does actually. I didn't realise it actually had a, a tooltip. I complained that it didn't actually have a tooltip. So it's range resistance, charge resistance, plus one charge damage, and it's not as good as this though. We get like extra fire damage by going across to this closed order. This one here is very, very vulnerable all the way through. Uh, you can also form square and also just have like open order. Um, all right, so that's now got a fair group across there. We'll just move these across as well. Same sort of deal in through this side. Let's just get them initially set up like this and um, move them in there as well. Do the same deal here. Just get them into sort of like a an order where they can start to sort of then move uh, quickly into position. Move that one up as well. Initially, we don't have to worry too much about what we're doing, so we've just got a few more to then add in. So let's go and add in a. Um, these are, I'm probably going to keep these ones back. So let's just move them back in through here. I don't have any cavalry with this group. takes a turn to go from whatever sort of marching ability it's been given. Now we've got everyone actually out, so let's just confirm that. And we'll now move across. So different things I can do, like if I go and grab these units and start to click and drag, I can you can see it can only move one at this stage, so we don't want to be doing that. Now even if I let go of this, it's going to then be given given an order. Actually, no, it hasn't. We didn't do anything because we didn't actually change what we were doing. These are the orders. We've got 14 orders we can make use of. So what I want to do is I want to go and grab just the single units and just try to get them to... Actually, this one can only move one. All right, so that's going to... Actually, no, I can move two there. I can't move two across that way, but I can move two up this way. So let's go and do that. Can they move two? They can as well. What I'm going to do there, because I can actually, that's now used up two orders. I'm just going to go and delete those two orders. We should still be able to move both of these together. And no, just as a single order. So let's just go back across. No, we can't. Interesting. Interesting. But individually we can. We'll move that one up. So we can move these both together up this way along the road. Move that one up. So these can move two while we're in this in this marching order. So that's what we that's where we are there. We want to get around this hill and around it into, into this into this area through here. Now these can move two up to there because they're on the road. Now, nothing else we can do, we just grab both of those and again just move two up to there. Two up to there. How are we going? We've got six orders left.
So we just want to get into position, uh, ready for the uh, different attacks that might sort of come through. And so we want to end up in the in the forest, along this this way. I think with some of our some of our uh, guys, and uh, and also then just making use of the um, with the artillery to be able to get some open some open shots. So that's pretty much everything. Actually, this one here. What do we do? Where is that? Oh, it's way up there. It's okay. Now it, it does it turn by turn from everything we did. In fact, they're also moving theirs as well. This is now the second order. They'll move their second order, and then we just move ours as well as we go. There's no log file, and I think it would be handy to actually have a way of sort of seeing what's happened when. Um, the game, but the game doesn't do that. Doesn't do it yet. <laughs> I don't know if it will or not, but um, for me, I think a, a battle log would be great. But um, you know, that's just me, maybe. I know I like it certainly in other games. And so it's just moving the forces out, um, getting them all ready. And similarly, back over through here, the AI is is starting to move their forces out. They've moved a few into similar to what we've actually done with different sorts of line formations. This is much more. These can move faster on roads. They're bringing their cavalry out into the middle. Now they've got a big hill here, which will give them one extra range if they take that hill. So we have to be a bit careful. That's why I'm thinking we, we look at this as our as where we actually go. Now, as I say, the AI is quite weak in the game at this stage. It will it will get better, but just not yet. So we're now back into the orders. You can see we've got soft cover back in through here. Now, in these, these are reduced, uh, damage is, is reduced by, by one point by being in the fields like this. And we'll find that this has happened, like we've got little status areas back in through here. Everything else has got statuses, like these are cumbersome, so they actually move more slowly, uh, but they do actually have anti-personnel. So plus two adjacent firing damage. If anything's right in front of them when they fire, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, back into this side, let's just keep on moving these up. Now, probably want to bring them maybe just straight ahead, I guess. Let's just move it up. Now, these can only move one now because of sort of what's happened with them, so we'll just move them up. And that's going to be okay. We're going to be able to, at least anything that comes around this other side, we'll, we'll be able to control. Um, we know that all of these can now move. We've got um, areas there that where they can move. Now these can move tw twice. We sort of saw that before. Let's just move them across. These as well. Now we've got to be a little bit careful of how far these can move. They can only move one, two, three, four at most, I would think. So we should be okay moving those up two. So they're okay. On the roads, they can move at two. If they're off the roads, they move at one. Now I'm going to move these across, um, back up into here, and then we'll start to sort of stagger things a little bit after we do this. And then we'll move it, we'll get a, a new line established across in, in these fields. So we'll sort of take the fields, because that is a defensive location there for us. Okay, so we're starting to now get close to where we need to be. Um, everything else is looking pretty good there. Uh, we, we can fire even in this even in this in this f uh, formation, but ultimately what we want to be doing is moving into uh, line formation. I can't do that immediately, so if I click on it, it won't actually do anything because we've already moved. So, so there's certain aspects about what different units will do. This is a skirmishing unit. Um, so actually, some of the skirmishers do have uh, are good in the rough, but a lot of the, actually, none of these actually are. So none of these are actually got the, like they're not good at, at performing in the rough terrain itself. Right, so we'll now just end our turn there. We'll now just carry out the actual turn. So it's a we go system where each um, each phase is then sort of played through, um, you know, like, so it's, it's essentially we get to play, they, whoever they designated as their first will then get to go as well. They tend to throw 
units at you. Look, they've got two cavalry that will be make, making their way through while these others start to sort of make their way across. And then they'll just try to get onto the road, but by that stage we should be in the in the woods. Yeah, we may be able to hit that one with the cavalry. Sorry, with the um, the artillery. Heavy, heavy infantry, we don't actually have any heavy infantry on our side. I mean, the closest we have are these guys. They're not great. This is a French force that we're, we're playing as. Yeah, these can move a long way on the roads when they're in that uh, column order. Now, can we fire with these? Let's have a look and see. Not quite. So we can't quite get a, a firing line, but we can we can anticipate that they will be coming down to um, get ready. So let's just go across. Actually, what, can, what else can we do from there? If we go to fire, we miss this area because of the tree line, but we can actually hit that area there. Let's just move across. Now these can only these are cumbersome. What that means is they can only receive one order per turn, either movement or firing. I'm going to keep that one where that is. We're going to move this one across into this area and point to the front. So that way we've got now two, two of these now coming through. Now, I'm going to set this one up and give it an order to... It's, it's, it, can either, it can either charge, uh, fire, or it can actually do a reaction fire. Or like a... Um, if we just do it there, if we have a quick look, this is going to be fire at will. And so that's at the end of the, end of the whole turn. It will then just do a fire at will. I'm anticipating that this will be down in here by that stage. So what I think we do is we'll go back into here now and um, and set these up. I don't know if I can get both of those and tell them to both go across. Yeah, I can't. So they're both going to be going back out into into a different mode. Um, let's do the same in through here as well. Just grab both of those. We've got both selected. And um, tell them to also then just go into line mode. And we can see through here that we're actually now telling... Um, so the seventh regiment swaps to close order. Actually, it's funny; it's not doing both, is it? It's like it's only one. Right, let's get rid of that. I might have to do these ones individually. I do want to make sure that we now go into line line um, formation. So this one here, it's only got the one selected that we can see back and through the side. Let's just go across again. There's little things that it may have done it, but I don't know if it will. Let's just go back across into here. Uh, line formation. One thing I can do is I can actually move this other one tw twice. Yep. Actually, no, I can't do it. I can't do the one. It's the fourth. Let's move that one up and get that one ready. Okay, so they're now moving, we've got eight left. And we definitely want to be on top of this hill with these units ready to go. Just move that one up. can still actually move twice, which I don't need it to. I'm just happy for that to get onto that hill there. Bring that one over. And I think what we'll do here is actually just get this one into back into its uh, skirmish formation. So it's charge vulnerable when it's like that, but if I just actually wait, see how actually see that will do it. Okay, we've still got two orders. Um, now we've done the reaction fire, haven't we? Yet fire at will. That's the only one that can really sort of do it at this stage. 
that'll be okay. That'll at least give us some damage, and if it certainly if it closes the gap, that would actually be good. And then we can start to move other forces up to just lend support in the next in the next phase. Now I'll keep on playing. I, I'm sort of looking at the time. I know that this is probably going to go for about an hour or so, but that's okay. At least you're sort of seeing how the game is then played. I'll explain what is what we're seeing through here as well when we get a bit closer, uh, because this is actually this is really how the actual game is played with the uh, with the what we're seeing with those blue lines and then the yellow lines back in through here, which which equate to this. Essentially, it's um, cohesion is the blue and uh, hit points is the is the green or yellow that you sort of see through there. So we turn there. Move across. As if now we're going out into line mode. Getting closer now. Here they come. And they've, you know, we hit them as they came through. And they did indeed go into the front. And so what we see there is we saw that there was actually three shots that went in, uh, or two shots I think that went in with those with those particular uh, cannons. Now the cannons are going to do an extra plus two with anything that's right in front of them like this. And so the cannons are now perfectly placed to then go and do damage in through here. And so these have now taken two cohesion damage to them. And so this is now sort of going back. The cohesion will disappear if they end their turn where they're not in contact with any enemy forces. These ones actually move right in on the guns. And so that one actually does have now issues, essentially. It's, it's, now, got, it's now got to deal with the cannons. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by actually firing straight at these guys. Now, this, this one here is also going to be coming through. But let's just go and fire. So that's going to be, that's the first order. So we've got one order there to fire. Now that's going to do a lot of damage. This one here can also then do a fire on that location. And hopefully by that stage, we will have destroyed the cohesion. And actually it's only got four hit points. So I'm thinking we're going to have that thing destroyed. Now, one thing I do want to do is I also want to then add and, and move these things up to just join that. And I want them to go into the second line at this stage, I think. Yeah, I will do that. That way, the we've, we've then got some infantry that are protect, not protecting these, but they're sort of with them. So we'll just put push them into the back lines. This is after they do their their firing in through this side, and I'm going to start to now move this one across. I'm going to keep these back where they are. This one here is going to now. I could actually move up. These this one here has got a rifle. It can move to there. One, two. It can't quite do what it has to do up that side. Let's move this one out into the um, into the into the closed order, so that it can then move up ultimately when this one moves into probably that location there. But we're still going to be able to fire at it from from these different areas. Let's go and change the facing of this one, just so it's facing out that side, and uh, that should then be able to hit. If that one ends up on there, we should be able to then hit it. Leave these in reserve. I might actually move these now across because we can then sort of move up and then into the rough. And similarly in through here, I want to move this one up into, the, into that area. I want these, or just that, that one there. I want that one to then go back into um, line formation. And make this one go into line formation as well. You know, there's nothing for these to fire on just yet, so we'll just leave them back. I'm thinking that if we do make use of this this woodland, we're going to need to have some protection at the back. These have now changed back into line formation themselves, ready to they're ready to sort of now march forward. Now, even the these guys have also then got other different things that they then do. Like for example, we can sort of see that they are melee only; they can only fight, do the melee. Uh, they've got skirmishing, so they're immune from attrition, which is sort of more on the campaign map I believe 
They have a plus two shock a charge attack. Now that's one thing we have to be a bit careful of. I don't think that these can really get into the fray so much. And also they're disorganized, so regenerate only half of their cohesion. So the cohesion, as I say, does come back, but only half of theirs comes back with the, with these particular uh, forces. So all of their forces have sort of got the same sort of aspect to them. These are breach loaders, so plus one attack order. Um, actually, it's not, it's not range, is it? Like, it's actually, ours is, ours is actually a plus one range as such. If we have a look at this one through here, rifle plus one range. Yeah, so that, in fact, that one there, they just have uh, breach loader as plus one attack order. There's a rifle there. So some of these aren't really going to be all that valuable. Actually, that's, or is that, um, yeah, no, that's okay. We'll just leave them where they are. So the battle is now, the battle lines are now sort of all drawn, and um, let's leave them where they are. We're down to three orders, so I think that that's okay. I can do reaction fire if I think it's, it's going to be, if it's going to be worthwhile, but I don't think we're going to see any, have anything, actually maybe this one, there's no, there's no reason not to. Let's just put reaction fire there, and potentially, just in case they move into here, let's just do reaction fire there as well. Um, I can't see them... Oh, maybe again. Let's just do a reaction fire. That's no. Now we've got zero orders. Okay, so we'll now end our turn. Battle phase. Now we should blast these. It's five damage. It's largely killed them off, and they have moved into here. So that that battle order that we actually did was was perfect. So the uh, sorry the re the reaction that we actually did set up, moving this one across. The very last thing that we do is actually do some good damage into there. So we've wiped out one of their forces just with the cannons. And both of these will now get a nice shot against this unit. <laughs> now they're moving into a location where we're going to be able to attack them. With these forces on the hill and also down through here. They've gone back to line formation. These are now line formation down here as well. And there we go. We hit this one and we should hit it again over here. No, oh, no, we didn't actually. <clears throat> now, um, we're going to need to hit this one again. the very very start I can't change my order from here so they're, they're sort of stuck this one here um, what does that one do it's more of a it's it's an attack column I don't think we're going to be able to do much I think we're going to be able to at least do some damage here so let's just move this one back out into line formation so that's the second one coming through they may be able to turn around and do an attack against this group, but we'll just keep where we are. This one here. Um, this is not going to be able to do much. Let's move this one up. That way, if it moves onto these locations, we're then going to have two that can actually then start to um, do, the, do the damage. We want to just stay fairly secure. I think I can do this, and then if I go and attack, oh yeah, I can attack that one as well. Now we probably want to move that last order up. So let's just go and shuffle that one up to there. Oh, hang on, fires at the 24th. We need the 4th to move first and then fire. So we fire with this one just to, just to upset it. At least we can get that one in the first phase. By the third phase, if it hasn't moved by that stage, we can then actually do even more damage, and that should be enough to kill it off, I think. Um, First regiment, which is back through here, then goes to goes to close order. Okay, that's good. Uh, back over this side, we then have the um, the cannons. Give that an order at the end if there's if we can. Again, we're missing what we can do there. does have the rifle so I can move that one across do another fire on that one now that's going to be very susceptible to uh, to that attack I'm thinking it's going to stay where it is so let's just go and keep this one let's go and throw these 
where we uh, do a reaction fire and similarly with these just in case they happen to move up into here which I don't think that they will okay so we're now sort of getting things sorted uh, getting everything ready for for protecting both these areas of the woods and um, that's now all going to come through we've still got five orders that we can make use of but there's really no reason we've got a very very good position here with our guns uh, I don't need to change that I could I could rotate, but there's going to be more forces coming up this way than what we can sort of uh, deal with in here. Right, let's end our turn. So the big thing we're going to be seeing is the first three moves into here. So it starts off with a shattering attack where we destroy half their forces. We move across. If they don't move, then we do another a big attack, and that should destroy all of them. There we go. That's actually completely obliterated those. And then we can start to move up into the tree line. It's moving across, across the frontage. I don't think we're going to be able to get a shot there. I think we can shoot there with these cannons, but not over there. Now they're getting ready over this other side, which is interesting. We do, we didn't know they've come good again. This is where I'd love to be able to do a little replays to see what went on because I, I missed what actually happened with the firing that was back over this side. So they're getting ready to fire. Um, they may move up now. Um, so I'm going to go and we no longer have any real threats back over this side. You can see there that there's nothing much really happening. We might swing this one around just so we're actually facing in that direction. Again, we can't fire with this at all. Uh, now that that is just infantry coming up the whole way, so we, there's nothing much we can do there. What I might do is move these up. Is that one got rifles? No, it doesn't. These can now only move one because we've now put them into the line formation. Uh, I'll keep that one where that is. Now, did we do the firing here already? No, we didn't. Let's have a quick look. I'm going to start off with that one just so we can sort of do some damage and then we want to set these guys up just to do reaction fire. Take it on now. Okay, well, we'll leave that one where that is. Can we fire from here? No, we can't. All right, in that case, we'll just get rid of that last move. I must say, I do like these, this order mode. It's, it's very, very good. Oops. Selected. There's really nothing much else we can do there. I, I, I was wanting to keep on that hill, but I'm thinking we actually maybe move, move off the hill. Move both of those groups up, ultimately, because then we can sort of take the um, take what we need to from the uh, from the woods. Move that one up, and these are nicely positioned in the fields. That's about all we need to do. So we've uh, still got six orders, but there's not really nothing much else for us to do at this stage. Yeah, so we do a little bit, we get, it's cohesion goes down by two, but if it doesn't meet up with us, then basically it's gonna get all of that back again very, very quickly at the start of its next turn. And similarly, if they attack us, like they're not going to be able to do enough damage. You can see that we've got um, three cohesion with this unit. They've got three as well. They did, we did two damage. As more and more come in, that was, that's going to then sort of um, make life a bit more difficult for us. Uh, there we go. Now we've actually gotten rid of their cohesion. Now only half of their cohesion comes back. 
So we should see a little bit of cohesion at the end of this. Yep, so they've got one, they're missing one. Now we want to keep this one going. And so I can still fire at that one with all of these units. Let's start with the cannons. Now these will only really do big damage if they're in front of them. And this is where I would love to have like a, um, a, a unit card that would show up to sort of show, okay, that's this unit does X, Y, or Z. Like, what does it actually do? We don't know. <laughs> so, as I say, early days with the game, uh, it is cool what it does do. Actually, we can actually hit this one at the back. Um, not that we need to. This is the one that we really need to go for. Let's just try this the one here and see if we can actually do a shot. No, we still can't do anything with that one. Uh, what we'll do is we'll set this one up. do the damage in here. Now it's got four four points in through that side. I'm going to now move this one up in front and finish that one off. I'm going to move both of these into the woods. Now when we move in this is a slow moving area and what it does is it's going to then slow these down so they can't actually do anything. Now, um, that's actually okay. I could have, you know, I might actually just undo that. Because I'm going to, I can still do this a different way. I'm going to move this one into the front. I'm going to then fire on this one, which I, which I can do. So I'll fire that way. We're going to get a, hopefully we get a side, a side angle on those. Uh, then I'm going to move these up. I'm going to put them into the front line so that they can then fire from the front next turn. Move these in. This way they're going to be sort of in the in the cover of the woods. Now these are going to be coming through. Uh, we've now got still got five shots, so let's just go and, and hit this one. And this one as well. Can't do anything with that one, so we'll just do a, um, a reaction shot with that. Everything else is looking pretty good there. Two more coming. Nothing else for us to really do. All right, let's uh, let's watch what actually happens here. So we're going to try to destroy this one as well now. So front hit. Should move up. There we go. We've actually now got it down to half. It then moves up and then finishes it off. While these are moving into position. Okay, that's been destroyed. We've got a lot more coming in. Now it looks like we're not going to do the shot back this way because of um, because of the um, uh, the other the other side of things actually this is going to be a interesting yeah we, we um, because this covered the way we do get a reaction shot there against both of those this is quite interesting actually what's happening here it's gonna be quite the little battle that's gonna be going on at least these will be protected slightly. We did some damage down through there as well. We've got soft cover down through this side. We've got um, this one will break. Like it will basically, it's at zero cohesion, it will then move back. Now it's still got full cohesion. This one has still got full cohesion, but we can actually now do a lot of damage against this unit here. So let's go and uh, start start with this one. I think, which way do we want to start? The orders are now really quite important. So if we have a bit of a look. Let's do that. And 
that should be enough to pretty much wipe out that group. Now these are broken, they can't actually, like in terms of the wheel, the wheel breaking, it's, they're bogged down, they can't move, and so same with these because I went into the rough terrain. So they're, they're going to be there for one turn. Now these, I was going to move up. I think what we might do is move them across. Sorry, just had a phone call. Okay, well, so we'll continue on. We've got the uh, this group. Um, I can now move up, which I can't hit that one, but it may come into uh, into uh, where we can actually sort of do something with it. The other thing we can do is move this one across and get it ready. So we might do that and put that into the front line. We're keeping these in behind. Nothing we can do just yet, but at least we're then going to have an angle down this side and a clear line against these particular forces. This one here I'm a little bit concerned about. This is the second. Now, did we give yeah, the second rifle second rifle fires? I can't do anything else with them. Now these also don't get a shot at anything just yet. Now we've got these. Let's go and hit that. that one down. I'm going to move that one up just so we can do another shot. Actually that one doesn't have the uh, the range. Forget that one. This one does have the range with the rifles. this one up as well. Actually, I can move that one. No, I can't really move that one anywhere. I can move it up to there. That should destroy that group, which has got um, five cohesion. This is actually a heavy. Actually, it, won't, it may not destroy it, but it'll do a lot of damage to it. Now, how many more have we got? We've still got five orders. We've done the firing of this one. So we can then bring this one up to here. Just in case we get a shot against this one here. They've still got okay, they've got horse drawn artillery coming out this way as well. So we'll do that. Um, everything else is sort of pretty much now contained where it actually is, and then we're ready for the next phase. This is going to be interesting to see what actually happens here with the various um, uh, the various um, cannons and the and what we, damage we can do down this side. It's going to get quite nasty, I think. <laughs> See what happens. All right, so we'll uh, end our turn. There we go. We took three. They took more. We've lost one of ours. They've lost three of theirs, or no, four of theirs. Now we're going to be able to pull back from here next turn, which we, is what we want to do. We, we don't want to be staying in the in the front line here with both of these. So this will, I'll move this one back as well because we need to be away so we can get rid of so get the cohesion back. Now having said that, their cohesion is also shattered. So. Um, figure out the best way of doing this. There we go. Now we've lost the bog down status. I think we play safety first and move them back. I can move them back into somewhere like in here. Now they can't move, but they're they're facing the right way, and they will they will be able to then sort of look after themselves. These guys here would just just finish this off. Now these guys, I'm going to move them back as well. I'm going to put them into the front line in this instance because we can still get a shot. should be obliterated. Let's just do that. 
We'll stay in the fight here, I think. Move that one up in front of the cannons after the cannons fire. Let's fire at that one. Moving up. Let's just move this one across. Can't do anything just yet. We don't have rifles on that one. You know, that one was we've destroyed half of it. And this one as well. Like, we didn't have to look at it, but we have actually now done a lot of damage there. Now, this one we may be able to fire through the middle there. We can at this. This one is now, all of its cohesion has dropped, and this one was actually very, very strong. It had a cohesion of five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, and and six, six. this was actually one of the best units on the, on the field. So we're going to um, blast this one to pieces. I'm now gonna start moving up, even though I can't use that one to do anything else. Um, put that one into reserve. Now I've lost two of these units. Let's just keep going there, and we'll now start to push the push the. Um, oh, hang on, no, we can't do anything else there. Let's just move that one back. I'll stay in the woods because I'm down to one order. That's pretty much it. Unless I don't move this one here. Now that is the third. Let's not move that. That gives me two orders, which gives me a move order from here and a fire order. That should do us. Okay, this is good. Uh, we'll end our turn there. So we're mainly sort of firing over here, just clearing out these. Side hit, got rid of a couple of those. Bit of damage done that way, move up. Gonna do a lot of damage here. It's down to two. It's now moved up as well. Yep, so we took a bit of a bit of damage there. We're moving over this way. We've obliterated the heavies, that's great. And we've, we've done a lot of good damage back that way as well. So these have moved back. Um, so we move them back and now we get all the cohesion back in through there. We, we don't get the cohesion back here because these guys are right on top. We can't move from this one, but we now have two in the woods with the protection of the woods. This one here, is a problem because um, we're not going to be able to do much with that one there. So I'm going to move this one back into the reserve. I'm going to do the same with this one here. The reserve, and we're going to use the cannon here to do the firing on this one. Cannon here. going to help. This one's already suffering a little bit. I'm going to move this one back into the woods again. So we're going to get bogged down again. Now we're down to seven orders. Do much with that one, so let's um, yeah, it's going to have done some damage there, but 
not a, it will probably do damage against this one here and it will actually do a fair bit I think we're going to lose maybe one or two points there we'll fire at that one and um, we'll move this one up level with these other cannons nothing we can do there just put them into orders there so that's actually now we've got a fair bit to do back over this side so we're going to be moving away let this one get back its cohesion They did. They destroyed our cohesion with their attack, and we've destroyed them completely now. Okay, so we now really got them on the on the ropes. So now we have both cannons now set up to attack this this particular group that's coming down the side. And now we're bogged down in here, but we actually now have troops that can no longer move. So let's go and uh, hit these. is now back with the cannons so you can see how I'm sort of flicking back and forwards between the different cannons um, let's pick on one let's just get one of these sorted and let's just move these up now that we've got the cohesion back we can sort of just work on one of these that should be enough to finish that one off that one off as well. Move that one over there. Okay, that's what we can do. So let's see what happens here. Hit each other. Obliterated that one, or we've moved it back anyway. So it did fire, these cannons are now struggling. sort of really wiping them out quite dramatically. So cohesion, um, we're going to stay in this fight. So we, we, I can move back if I wanted to, but I'm happy enough to stay in this fight now. Um, let's just keep this one going. They're going to keep on trying to fire at this unit, which will hurt us. Should probably should have done that one. Yeah, we can fire from the rear. Let's just do that. That way we're going to erode a bit of its attack power just by switching that order around. Is that the sixth? That's the first. Yeah, that's it. Um, which one's the first? That's the sixth, yeah. We want the... Um, yeah, that is the sixth. We want the... First is this one here. Yep, so the first will then fire first. That's fine where that is. Hang on, we need, now need to um, go this way. 
Oh, nothing we can do there. In this instance, we fire again. It should wipe those out. in the reserve line. Get this one ready. Then we've got these and none of these have been touched yet so we can just fire away. I haven't done a, an actual attack with anything. I, I, I probably should just show that but I don't really have anything that's really good at attacking. Give that an order, a fire order if this one moves back out. We can't fire through our, through our forces, so they're sort of stuck where they are. Move them up. Okay, so we're now sort of on the uh, on the move. So we yes, we did three damage. Now they both hit that one there. We fire again. Okay, so I've uh, got 14 orders again. Uh, now we've got these units in the woods, so they're sort of now hidden in the woods there a little bit. Um, now what we can do here is we can move these up, fire on them in the woods. Let's move these out of the way. They're going to get bogged down there briefly. We can't do much with these. Let's just move these up. So bring the cannons up now. Now we know there's still more. Actually, I should have fired this one first, but it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll um, do that now. And I want to again go back to the first and then the sixth. That's good. So that way we can still just get the first and second order. It's going to be those two, followed by this one here. And there's still forces coming this way. We can't do anything just yet. that we can fire on with that. I think I might start just moving these up individually. Just got one more order left. Okay, end our turn again. You can see that managing the um, Managing the cohesion is really, really important. So we've now wiped that one out. It's a side hit, but it's only of hitting our cohesion at this stage. We should be able to do a bit more damage here when we move this one up. We fire again, it's now out of the woods. It should have stayed in the woods. The AI is quite weak. Still being able to, um, it's funny, it's sort of a soft cover essentially there, which I don't understand why. It shouldn't have. I 
We got all of our cohesion back in through here. We haven't lost any units there. Maybe it's where you start. It seems sort of strange that you would still have soft cover even when you move back out. Well, let's let's get rid of this this guy. That's going to hurt. And then we'll do this one. That should be enough, I think. You yeah, can't do anything else with that one there. Um. Just make sure of that. This is just line line infantry. Oh, that was just a standard standard unit. Let's just get reaction fire just in case we get a chance. Should be able to still do that one. Rifles working. That's what we can do there. Okay, so we're now just marching in on the last two. There's nothing at the back. So we've done well here. Obliterated those. Taking cohesion damage there, but nothing too bad. They stayed in the fight. Again, we've taken cohesion damage, but nothing nothing that's really affecting us. So the line's now moving up. And that's destroyed all of their cohesion. This one will now move up and do some damage. Just maybe two. Yep, so there's a little bit extra there. We'll need to obliterate these before they can do too much damage. Now we're in the uh, we're in the got the, a, a bit of protection there, so we'll just start with this one. This one can't like this, we will be doing damage, so that will be at least two, maybe three. Hopefully, we'll then finish that one off. We're not sure, we'll just move this one up and finish that one off well and truly. Keep these back. Better. We can really do at this stage. There's only two units left to go. Very close now to the end of the battle. Yeah, they took, we took some damage there. We destroyed that one. Now we just move these across. Half their cohesion gone with that one. The rest of it gone there. We close the gap. And do some more damage. Now, can we get a shot in here? No, nope, we're now sort of covering our own our own forces, so we now need to uh, do the damage here initially, just so that it's not going to be quite as much. I'm, I'm sure that it will actually still be bad, and that should wipe this one out. That should be enough, actually, so I won't do any of the other orders. We'll just leave them where they are, because there's nothing else for us to uh, really compete against. Both hit each other, yep. We didn't take any actual damage, just cohesion damage. I really like this cohesion mechanic, I've got to say. There we go, we've obliterated them now. The game still plays out the orders. This is one of these other little UX things that really... Uh, I wish they so just went straight to the victory. Now, when we press exit, it's probably going to sort of... It should be okay, I think. 
Yeah, so you can see through there, uh, we deployed 12,000, uh, 12, they deployed 11,000 or 11,600. We got sort of like all of theirs were casualties. We only received like casualties of 1,502. So they get a little bit of theirs back, um, you know, with wounded, etc. cetera. And um, uh, actually, I don't know if that kicks in there. That's what we have left over. I'm not sure why they would have 7,000, but anyway, that's... Um, We've done a good job there. So we still stopped the, that attack. Oh, it wants to come back in again. So I don't know why it would, it would keep on attacking like this because we've, I'm just going to auto resolve just so you can sort of see what goes on. Uh, we actually lost more casualties then, I think, than what we had before. So they keep on trying to attack. It's going to try yet again. And that's the end, actually. We've uh, won, the, uh, won the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> and we're nearly uh, we've got a little bit more there uh, it's a bit of a uh, didn't really do much did it the, at the back end there of the uh, of the actual campaign I don't know why we won it but anyway we, we won it that's what I mean like the, the game doesn't really give you enough information just yet but it's a fun game so um, I think well it will be a fun game I'm sure of it it's um, it's certainly heading in the right direction the, the, the underlying game mechanics I think are very very sound uh, which is always a good thing uh, that's probably the most important thing really uh, at this early stage, and then um, then it's just a matter of then of, of, apply, of applying the polish. I hope that's been helpful, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.